Hello YouTube, my name is Jax, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to improve your aim in Call of Duty. So if you wanna shoot like this, and stick around, I'll get you covered. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is scroll down to private match, and then you wanna create private match. Um, you can play free for all, but you really wanna play team death match because if you play free for all, the enemies are, are fighting each other and, and you really want them to all be against you really. So uh, you have to wait for a little bit for it to sort of unlock, it's a bit weird, but it, it will eventually work. You want to set your guns so you're using guns that you actually want to practice with. I mean, you can practice with any gun, but it's best to practice with guns that, that you want to actually use. Then you want to choose your map. Um, you can choose any map, uh, but the best one is Farm 18. And the reason for this is there's places in this map where the more you will get more action. You want to go to game. You want to go to Time Limit Unlimited, Score Limit Unlimited, and uh, match start five seconds. You want to set enemy bites at six, which is the max. And then you want to put recruit level and maybe give yourself one friendly but, uh, teammate or whatever. Then you want to go to your controller settings. And then you want to go to advanced and turn off aim assist. So now what you're going to do, you're going to start in a game. You're going to be playing a game. You're going to have no aim assist. So to start with, you're going to find that you're just missing all the shots, but this is fine. This is okay. You just you just practicing. You're getting used to it, right? See how the shots are just swinging sort of everywhere, right? But after a bit of repetition, yeah, you will get used to it. What you'll start noticing is your thumb on your aim, your aiming thumb, yeah, is starting to be a bit gentler and a bit more feels like you have a bit more control actually. So you're very like um, definite about where you're aiming the stick because the, the aim assist is not working for you because you've turned it off, obviously. So it's a very good way to help you uh, aim exactly where you want to aim. And also turning aim assist off, it helps you understand when you turn it back on, it helps you understand exactly what aim assist is doing so it just gives you a bit more um understanding of of how aim assist works as well and then once you've got to grips with it a bit in the end you will find that you're hitting your shots and you're doing well and that's why you want to have it unlimited time limit so you can just keep practicing just keep practicing you can experiment you can do what you want then what you want to do well this is what i do but this this is a good idea as well you want to set the game back up again team deathmatch, all that sort of stuff. But then what you want to do is you want to go across to gameplay and you want to turn headshots only. So then all, all that means, yeah, is that you just got to put one bullet in the person. So it's almost like a sniper. So you can use an SMG and uh, you, you just, you, the aim of this is to put one bullet in the head of each enemy. And what this helps you with doing, and you can turn aim assist on or off uh, for this, but I, I had it in this gameplay, I had aim assist off again for this as well. So the aim of this is it's helping you with your aim down sights, helping you with sprint to fire, and it's helping you with like trigger discipline and stuff like that. So you, you literally just got to put one bullet in the enemy's head. But bear in mind, because you're playing butts and they're snipers and stuff like that, uh, they will just hit their shots, so you will get sniped a lot. So, um, yeah, so you want to put headshots only, practice, and it will help you have that sprint to fire muscle memory and that aim down sight muscle memory. Uh, this is better when you're actually practicing with a particular gun, because what you will find if you're practicing headshots only with a particular gun, and then you change just a couple of attachments or you change the gun completely, you'll be missing all your shots because the muscle memory is for that particular aim down sight, it's for that particular sprint of fire and it's for that particular range of bullet velocity and all them things come into, into uh, play when you're doing headshots only. So, um, it, but it does help with general aiming anyway. But yeah, th th this is a good uh, practice drill to do. 
And then, finally, you just want to start your game again. Go through all the same things. Time limit, unlimited, all that sort of stuff. But this time, you want to turn uh, aim assist back on. And then what you'll, you'll feel, you'll feel like the gun, you're hitting all your shots. You're probably hitting headshots now as well because you've been practicing with the headshots. And you'll feel that aim assist working and it will really help you um, understand how aim assist is working. And not only that, it just helps your aim a lot better anyway, the ho that whole drill. So you don't have to do the headshots only one, but it does help a lot. It does help a lot, especially when you're trying to learn uh, certain guns and just in general. But yeah, so basically, if you just go through that drill, I, I do this with most guns that I'm uh, leveling up. And sometimes in the morning, I just do it for an hour or so. Uh, sometimes I get carried away and do it for a couple of hours. You can just get lost in it. It's just unlimited time, unlimited points. So you just, you've just got a lot of time just to experiment. You can try different barrels, you can try different attachments, you can try different guns. Uh, this is a really good drill as well to practice with snipers. Uh, when you're using snipers doing these types of uh, aiming drills, you get really, really good results. Really good results with all guns, really. SMGs as well, you get really good results with SMGs. Another thing that you could practice is just hip fire shots only you could practice uh just uh only trying to find lung shots and all that all that sort of stuff so it's a very good very good drill very good thing to practice and also another another point i want to make is the reason why i use this map is because in modern warfare 2 there's no um shipment there's no shoot house there's no uh, speedball maps or nothing like that so you, the other maps that are on Modern Warfare 2 are quite big and it, the people can be all spaced around. But if you use this uh, Farm 18 map, if you just keep running to this bit where I'm at now, yeah, this is where all your enemies will come. And you do want to remember as well that these aren't real players. They're, they aren't as good as real players. So this isn't helping reaction time. It isn't helping you in real world against real players. But it is helping, 100%, helping you get on target very quickly. It's helping your control recall. It's, it's helping everything to do with aim. So, yeah, it's a, a very good drill. So I hope that uh, helps, guys. And um, if you do enjoy the video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button notification bell for alerts on future content. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.